Hello everyone, a reliable source in the Genshin community called Foul, has revealed some new details about Emily's weapon type, talents, signature weapon and her overall kit. For those unaware, she is an upcoming Fontaine character whose release got moved to Natlin, but today it has been confirmed that she is indeed coming in version 4.8, and you can expect her drip marketing on June 3rd. Before starting, I would like to remind you guys that I will be giving away another 15 welcomes after we hit 80k subs, and we are just 300 subs away from that, so please subscribe if you haven't yet. So just an hour ago, a reliable source called Foul, has shared some details about Emily's signature weapon. According to them, Emily will not be a Catalyst user. Yes, you heard it right, she is not going to use a Catalyst, instead, Emily's signature weapon is a polearm and it has a base attack of 608, and a crit rate bonus of 33.1% at level 90. This info alone is enough to prove that Emily will be a 5-star character, so for those who were saying that we are getting way too many 5-stars in Fontaine, here's one more. So Emily is now confirmed to be 5-star Dendro character, and a polearm user. Moving on to her talents. There's not much information about her talents at the moment, but according to the source, one of the Emily's talents is that it increases the burning damage by 30%, and decreases the chances of self-burning by negative 95%, so basically she can't die from burning reactions. There's one thing I don't understand, if her kit revolves around the burning reactions, why does her signature weapon have a crit rate stat, shouldn't it has elemental mastery or something? From what I know, burning damage is only affected by the level and elemental mastery of the character causing the reaction, and the target's pyro resistance. It ignores the target's defense and cannot deal critical hits. The elemental mastery damage bonus and the target's resistance multiplier are applied multiplicatively with the base damage. And the damage is calculated as 0.25 multiplied by level multiplier. At present there's only one character who increases the burning damage bonus, who is Baiju, and one character who allows the burning to crit, and that is Nahida, but the two is locked behind her second constellation. At present, there are two artifact sets that increase the damage by burning reaction, Crimson Witch of Flames and the new artifact set called Unfinished Reverie. Both of these sets increase the damage caused by burning by 40% and 50% respectively, and now it's basically confirmed that this new set was made for Emily. So to sum things up, Emily will most likely be an off-field DPS or sub-DPS, and her kit will be focused on burning reaction. One more thing, a few days ago I said that Emily has a yellow hair and wears glasses, but that info seems to be fake as Team Mew has said that she doesn't have any of those features in her model. With Natlin releasing in version 5.0, I'm guessing burning or overload is going to be the new meta in Genshin. So that's it in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss any updates.